How's it going guys? My name is Tavares and today I decide that my car doesn't need any more power. <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. So for those of you just tuning into my channel, thank you very much and I hope you guys like it. But this is my 2003 Mercedes-Benz SL55 AMG and some would say it's pretty fast. Whoa! But I think it's not fast enough. Although this car did come with around 500 horsepower from the factory, there still is a lot of power potential under that hood. And the secret to that potential lies in this box right here. So the question remains, What's in it? What's in the box? What's in the f***ing box? So before I answer that question, I want to make sure we're all on the same page. This is a Mercedes M113K engine. It is a single overhead cam V8 with a huge Lee Shom supercharger on top, and it produces 493 horsepower, 516 foot-pounds of torque, which is a lot. But as a lot of modders have found out over the years, you can get a lot of extra horsepower from this power plant, and the easiest way to do that is just upping the boost. Now, since this is a supercharged engine, the way to up the boost is a little bit different than what you'd see in a turbocharged car. In a turbocharged car, you just have a little boost controller which is just a valve that you put in between uh, a vacuum source and your wastegate. This, since it's a supercharger, doesn't have any wastegates, and the boost is actually regulated by a belt and a pulley, and that pulley is actually right under here. Now this is a supercharger pulley, and what it does is it has a little clutch here, and when it engages, it engages this supercharger. This big pulley right here is connected to two screws that compress the air by acting like, uh, like meshing gear years and they squeeze the air into the engine and that's all dependent on the RPM of the engine. So those of you in my audience who at least have a high school level understanding of physics will know that if you decrease the diameter of the pulley, the faster it's gonna spin and the faster it spins, the more boost we get in the supercharger and that is where our box comes in. This thing is a 76 millimeter pulley from VRP Performance, and it's made specifically for the M113 supercharger. Now, for those of you who don't know what VRP is, they are basically one of the only uh, performance parts carriers for the AMGs of this era, the M113, M113K engines, but uh, they are actually still making parts, they're still developing parts on this really, really good platform. So if you have a car like this or are looking to buy a car like this and want to make it a little bit faster, whether it be the SL, the E-Class, the S-Class, CLS class with this engine, or basically any AMG engine of this era, you should check out vrpspeed.com. So let's check out what we get in our little box of goodies here. We have, this is a USB uh, adapter to plug into the OBD2 port because this also includes a tune. Even though I am just upping the boost, sometimes the stock computer can't handle it and it, it might throw a code or it might just run rich. That will fix it and uh, make sure that the car is running as stock, as close to stock as possible with some extra power. So let's take this out. Packing peanuts. This is a 76 millimeter supercharger pulley. And look at that, looks pretty cool. So this also has the uh, clutch surface uh, right here, and it will work the same way as the stock one. The stock one is actually 89 millimeters, so it is quite a big difference. And that difference equates to around 50 to 55 horsepower at the wheels. Now, for those of you who saw my dyno run, You'll know that this car made 390 horsepower at the wheels. Now, I wasn't revving it out all the way and these superchargers usually make the most power up top. So this supercharger pulley would get this to around 450 wheel horsepower and 550 horsepower at the crank. So that is quite a big deal for one little mod. In order to do this mod, you're actually not gonna need that many tools. You are gonna need a 17 millimeter 12 point socket. And that is basically just to take off the supercharger belt. So you're gonna put it on this pulley right here, and uh, that is the tensioner, and you're just going to crank it counterclockwise, and then you're gonna take off the belt. Now comes a fun part, taking off this supercharger pulley bolt. 
and as you can see, the whole thing spins. So Mercedes usually would require you to get some uh, specialty tools and make sure that everything is locked, but it is actually way easier to use one or two of these. These are just regular hose clamps, and we are gonna put those around this large pulley right here, and that is going to uh, stop right here, and that is gonna lock everything in place. So I got these hose clamps at Home Depot. They have to be at least five inches in diameter. This was four and a half to seven inches, so we're good there. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put these on and tighten them down. So a few people have concerns that this might scratch up this pulley right here. I'm not too concerned about that just because my pulley is already scratched up and this car is a little bit older, it has some miles on it. And it's also not something that's gonna be seen because this cover covers that right up. So as long as this holds and doesn't slip, that's the only thing I care about at this point. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take a 24 millimeter socket or a 15 16 socket. Uh, if you have SAE, that is around about the same size and you put it on a breaker bar and hopefully this should come off without too much struggle. Ooh, there we go. So you're gonna take this out and there's also a little washer here. So make sure you don't drop that. Now, theoretically, this should come right out. And it does. So check this out. This is the stock pulley for the supercharger. And you can see right away what the difference is between the pulleys. Look at that versus that way smaller and also if you take a look at the clutch surfaces yeah that's uh, it's not really <laughs> a fair comparison this clutch surface has seen better days and this clutch surface is brand new so uh, that is the one we're gonna put on and hopefully it should be pretty easy to install just as easy as it was to take off let's find out <sighs> Okay, so the next thing we got to do is we have to reverse these clamps because now we're going to be tightening instead of loosening. All right, I think we're good with just one. So we are going to torque this down to 40 foot pounds. Got to put it at 40 foot pounds and I think we are good to go if I don't drop all my tools. Crap. That should be it. Now that we're almost done with the install, the final part is the belt change. Now, these belts are actually in good condition. They are uh, OEM Mercedes belts, but since this is a smaller pulley, we're gonna need a smaller belt. So what I bought was this. This is a Gates K080505 HD, and it's green, it looks kinda cool. This is just a little bit smaller than the stock one, and that will prevent belt slippage because uh, with more boost and uh, smaller pulley, sometimes the belts tend to slip. You can get a belt wrap kit, which uh, basically puts another pulley uh, in the mix so you can use your stock belt, but uh, I like to use one of these, and uh, hopefully we shouldn't have any problems. But the installation is exactly the same as a stock one. You just wrap it around all your components. With your 17 millimeter 12 point socket, you take the tension off the tensioner, and you can see that moves right out. Ooh, well, it would help if you had a ratchet that worked. Yeah, that moves right out of the way. And then you can route it around the crank pulley, the supercharger, and the idler. That actually looks pretty cool. Okay, last piece. Install this finisher piece, and bam. All right, here comes the fun part, which is tuning the actual car. Now, um, this did come with a tune uh, by Eurocharged. Eurocharged actually has a uh, software that you can download from VRP's website. And what I had to do was I had to make an image of my car's stock tune. So even though this is a fairly straightforward uh, install and my car is otherwise stock, I still had to make a uh, basically a roadmap of what my car's engine management system looks like. So I sent that over to VRP and they sent over a modified tune that I could then upload to the car. All right, we have turned the car to position two and uh, in the main menu, you have to hit Vehicle reflash, select file, there we go. Then you click on performance. Are you sure you're ready to reflash the ECU? I was born ready, mother. All right, 
It is reflashing. So it says your fans will turn on. Do not let this scare you, it's supposed to happen. <laughs> 98, 99, 100. Reflash successful, please key your vehicle off for 10 seconds. Six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi. I think my Mississippis are a little fast. All right, we are done with the tuning process, so let's turn it on. Sounds pretty much stock, but I wanna see how it runs. All right, I'm just gonna roll into it. Holy, oh my God! Okay. All right. Okay, yeah, this car is faster. This car is a lot faster. <laughs> well, I never really understood the point of superchargers before I got this car. Now, I, I like superchargers. I like that uh, they can give you more power, but I, I was always a turbo kind of guy. But now, just with a little bit of a, a pulley upgrade and a belt, this thing is really seriously fast. So unfortunately, I can't put this on a dyno today. Uh, I would like to put it on a dyno sometime in the near future, just to see where we are in terms of power. But based on my calibrated butt dyno, this thing makes a ton more power. It transforms the car completely. So in addition to this pulley and tune, VRP recommends that you get cooling mods. Not exactly cooling mods for cooling the engine, but it's for cooling the intake air temperature charge. A bigger heat exchanger, it's kind of like an intercooler, uh, if you think about it like that in a turbocharged application. And that would guarantee that you have 100% uh, power all the time and you have uh, no risk of detonation or anything else that comes with a really hot intake uh, air temperature charge. So the final takeaway is this is something that every M M113K owner needs to do. Uh, this is very, very simple. You can get it done in less than an hour with minimal hand tools. You saw me, I just did it with a torque wrench and uh, some sockets. If you have a supercharger, it's basically the best bang for your buck you can get. So if you wanna check it out, it's gonna be in the description. And also VRP told me that if I like this mod, then I could give my viewers a coupon code and I would recommend you to do that because I like this. I like it a lot. <laughs> Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's, that's good, that's good. If you like this video, consider subscribing. You can hit that little button down below or wherever it is if you're on mobile. And uh, you can hit that little bell next to the subscribe button and that will make you part of my notification squad. Every time I do anything to this car or any of my other cars, you guys will know about it first. If you'd like to contact me, you can do so at The Real Tavares. That is Instagram and Twitter, facebook.com slash asktavares and asktavares at gmail.com is my email. You can also find me on Wheelwell. You can DM me there. Uh, I'm up for a chat pretty much anytime I spend too much time on the internet as it is. But until next time, this is me telling you that on cars like this that now have more power than uh, my abilities can handle, you guys need to wrench every day.